All right, guys. Today, um, I'm gonna be showing you a super, super cool card trick. This is probably one of my, um, probably one of my most favorite impromptu card tricks. Basically, you can have a spectator. You can take a borrow deck. So there really isn't any like preparation for the trick. You honestly take a borrow deck. You can have the spectator go ahead, and they're gonna shuffle it up as much as they want to. So these cards, I'll show you in a second as well. These cards really are in just a super, super random order just like that so look none of the cards are actually you know like there's nothing there's nothing to them but essentially here's how the trick um, is gonna work so once the spectator is unshuffling the cards and whatnot what you're gonna have them do they can shuffle it as much as they want and all you have to do is put the cards down and tell them to cut the deck uh, wherever they want to so let's say they were to cut the deck here right so at this point you tell your spectators okay so you know you shuffle the deck this is your deck this isn't mine I have no idea you know what order they're in but I'm gonna let you know one thing you're gonna tell them that you're gonna go through this pile of cards wherever they cut. You're gonna to go to the fourth card down in this pile, and that is gonna tell you the fourth card down from this pile over here. So you take one, two, three, and this is the fourth card. You're gonna go ahead and look at it. In this case, I'm gonna, I can see it. And what this card tells me is that this fourth card down over here should be the eight of hearts. So you go down, and the fourth card here should be the eight of hearts, just like that. And then again, if you think you know, whatever, you can think what you want, but you can go ahead and do the trick again, right? So you can take the cards. This is the deck that the spectator shuffled. You tell them, okay, so go ahead, um, cut the deck again, right? So they can cut the deck again. You do the same exact thing. So you do one, two, three. Now this is the fourth card. This fourth card is gonna go ahead and tell me exactly what this card over here is, and it should be the five of clubs. So I go down one, two, three, and the fourth card is gonna be, I think I said the five of clubs, and it is the five of clubs. So I'm gonna go do it one more time just so you guys can believe me. I'm not, you know, like messing around. This is truly a super, super cool trick that you can do impromptu. Uh, the spectator cuts the deck. In this case, let's go ahead. We can look at it. We'll do it again. So one, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this card really quick. This card is gonna tell me the fourth card here is the ten of spades. So I go ahead. One, two, three. Four. This is going to be the Ten of Spades, just like that, guys. This is the trick. It is super, super cool. Um, it's easy, and you guys can do it with any any deck you want. So let's go ahead, and I'll show you guys how to do that uh, right now. All right, so here's how the trick is going to work. So you can really have the Spectre go ahead and shuffle up any card that or any deck that they want. Um, as much as they want, you can use a borrowed deck, so it really does not matter what order the cards are in at all. The only thing you're going to have to do is, once they're done shuffling the cards, make a point to show them that all the cards are random. But when you spread the deck or you know just go through it in your hands, make sure you peep the fourth card from the top. So in this case, it's going to be the three of spades. So fourth card up to the top, one, two, three, four. We have the three of spades. That's all you got to do. Take a bar deck, they shuffle it, you show them the faces, and while you're showing them the faces, you can also be spreading through the deck like this. So all the cards are completely random. You take a peep at that three of spades, and now, are, yeah, now you know the card that's in the fourth position okay so from here the pretty much or the trick is uh, pretty much set up the only thing you have to do is have them at this point you can you can take the deck yourself and do a shuffle but you know that's obviously look a little bit suspicious so you can have them shuffle all the way up until this point and then have them cut the cards so they're gonna you tell them cut the cards wherever you want make sure to show them not to complete the cut just to leave it in two different piles and all you want to do is tell them okay so you know make sure you reinforce the idea that these cards are completely random you say look so you cut the deck wherever you want from, you know, this borrowed deck that you shuffled. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and you tell them exactly what I did in the performance. You say the fourth card down from this pile is going to be, and now this is going to be a random card that you look at, okay? So this card doesn't tell you anything. All you do is go one, two, three, and then the fourth card. You don't really want to show the spectators because this is going to be the next card that you, um, that you find, right? So you look at this card. You don't show the spectators. So I'm looking at the card, and now it's the king of hearts, right? So here's what you're doing. The entire time, you're pretty much remembering that the three of spades is still in the fourth position here. You say, all right, so I'm going to go ahead. This fourth card is going to tell me exactly what this card is going to be, the fourth card down. And as you look at it, now you're remembering the king of spades. All right, so this is going to be the fourth card from this pile. This doesn't mean anything to you. You just know this is the king or the king of hearts. All you have to do is say, okay, so you're remembering the three of hearts or the king of hearts and the three of spades. So you go down one, two, three. You say, look, so that fourth card told me that this card is going to be the three of spades. And then you reveal the three of spades, and now you're completely done. You put this on the table, and the only card you need to remember at this point is the king of hearts. Okay, so you put this back on top, and all you have to do is leave the king of hearts in the fourth position. So here's three cards. The king of hearts is still on top here. 
you take the other three cards and then you put everything back on top so that way when you restart the trick now you already know the fourth card down is going to be that king of hearts and then if you want you can actually repeat the trick you know as many times as you like only because there isn't really necessarily something the spectators are going to catch out and see at the moment because it is kind of difficult to figure out um, exactly what's going on so uh, you can do this, you can do this to a spectator pretty much I would say four times at most I would do this around three take the deck yourself you can shuffle it make sure to leave a nice little chunk of cards on top so you can leave that king in the fourth position they cut the cards you're still remembering the king is in the fourth so then you go over here so now you go okay so let's see the fourth card down here so one two three here's the fourth card you don't show the spectators you're looking at it now i'm remembering the queen of diamonds and the king of hearts so the spectators don't see that you say all right so that card just told me over here before you even touch the deck you say all right so that's going to be the king of hearts so you go ahead you get to the fourth card and then it's going to be the king of hearts and then you do the exact same process as before you stack the cards on top leave that one in the middle the queen of diamonds is going to go fourth position on top and then from here you like i said um you can't have the spectators um shuffle the deck but then you have to you know figure out what that fourth card is but from here you already know it's still the queen of diamonds so this is pretty much the trick i'm going to go ahead and go over it one more time for anybody who wants it um, but for the most part that's pretty much the trick so you can take your deck go ahead you can shuffle it and then the same exact thing. So you can tell the spectators, you know, cut the deck, honestly, wherever you want to. They're going to go ahead and cut the deck. You go down four cards. One, two, three, four. Now you look at this card. You say, all right, so this card tells me that the fourth card down from this pile is the queen of diamonds. In reality, this is going to be the five of hearts. It doesn't mean anything to you. And then you go down here, and this is going to be the queen of diamonds in the fourth position. And this is the trick. Um, and that's that's pretty much it guys. It's super simple. Um, all you gotta do is remember the fourth card in the fourth position You can use a borrowed deck and um, it'll work every single time Also uh, for anybody who's made it this far into the video. I just want to go over something um, I got an email from somebody wanting me to Sample a little bit of their puzzles. So I know a couple of other magicians on YouTube do that I think I've seen a lot of uh, Chris Ramsey Puzzle videos. So if that's something that you guys would care to see on this channel go ahead and let me know I'll do it anyways only because it's gonna be a free sample. and I think it'll be cool uh, to put something just a little bit different on here. So make sure to go down in the comments if uh, you want me to go ahead and do that video or not. But uh, I'll still do it anyways. And then also if there's anything else specific you guys want me to post, something maybe I haven't you know done before or something in specific that you guys uh, want me to teach, go ahead and put that down in the comments. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'll stop rambling. And as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> She's a literal vampire.